Welcome to today's hot topic, cigarettes versus vape. Which one is really worse for you? Whether you're a non-smoker curious about the buzz, a smoker considering a switch, or a vapor wondering if you've made the right choice, this video is for you. Let's dive into a cloud of facts, myths, and insights to uncover the truth. First, let's light up the history of smoking. Smoking has been around for centuries, evolving from ceremonial practices to a daily habit for millions. Fast forward to the 21st century, and vaping enters the scene as the new kid on the block. It's marketed as the cleaner, tech-savvy cousin of traditional cigarettes. But is it really? Now let's puff into the world of cigarettes. We all know they're bad, right? They contain over 7,000 chemicals, with at least 70 known to cause cancer. Smoking cigarettes is like inviting a whole gang of harmful substances into your body. Tar, carbon monoxide, and arsenic, to name a few. It's a leading cause of lung cancer, heart disease, and a host of other health nightmares. On the flip side, vaping is often seen as the lesser of two evils. Vapes, or e-cigarettes, heat a liquid into an aerosol that the user inhales. This liquid usually contains nicotine, flavorings, and other chemicals. The keyword here is other chemicals. While it's true that vapes generally have fewer toxic substances than traditional cigarettes, they're not exactly a health smoothie either. There's still a cocktail of chemicals in there, and the long-term effects, well, they're still a bit hazy. But let's not just talk chemicals, let's talk culture. Cigarettes have that old-school, rebellious charm. Think James Dean or Audrey Hepburn. Vapes, however, are more Silicon Valley than Hollywood. Sleek, modern, and customizable. They've become a techie trend, especially among the younger crowd. Here's a burning question. What about nicotine? This addictive little devil is present in both cigarettes and vapes. Nicotine is what keeps you coming back for more, whether you're lighting up or pressing a button. It's the hook, but it's not the main killer. The combustion in cigarettes is what unleashes the most harmful substances. Vapes don't burn, so they're often seen as a safer passage for nicotine delivery. But wait, there's a twist in the tale of vaping. Remember when we said the long-term effects are hazy? There's a reason for that. Vaping is relatively new, and we're still learning about its impacts. There have been cases of lung injuries and even deaths associated with vaping. Plus, those fancy flavors? They might be doing more harm than good, especially to younger lungs. So, where does this leave us? If you're a smoker, switching to vaping could be a step in a less harmful direction. But if you're not a smoker, picking up a vape isn't a wise health choice. It's like choosing between jumping off a cliff or taking a risky zip line. Neither is great if you can avoid it. And here's a final puff of thought, quitting. The best option for your health is not to smoke or vape. Easier said than done, we know. But there are resources, communities, and alternatives to help you kick the habit. To wrap it up, cigarettes and vapes are both bad news for your health, but in different ways. Cigarettes are like the notorious villain we've known for years, while vapes are the mysterious newcomer with hidden dangers. The choice? Well, it's not really about choosing the lesser evil, but about being informed and making choices that lead to a healthier life.